Welcome back to another Sweet Home 3D tutorial. In this video, we're going to be using everything we've learned in the past lessons to draw up a complete simple floor plan from start to finish. And we're gonna uh, export it out and create documents that we could then give to like a planning and zoning department or to a contractor and actually have this structure built. So super useful information here. Um, we're gonna start, I'm just gonna adjust my uh, view so I can see more of this grid area that we're gonna be working in uh, quite a bit. And then I'll go to this zoom and I'll zoom in a little bit. And then I'm going to select my, uh, let's grab the pan tool and come back up to the top left. I'll find zero, zero is where I like to build. And I'll grab my room tool or create a floor first before I do walls. So I left click, I come over and I'll hit the enter key and type in 16 and then the feet symbol. And I'll come down because I'm building this. Uh, this is going to be US, so it's going to be in feet. We'll do eight feet, so we'll do 16 by eight, and then 16 again. And for my last one, I'll just double click at my start point to close it off. And then I'll go to my wall tool and we'll build a wall here. And same thing, we'll just go eight feet. I'm just typing it in. Oh, whoops, that should have been 16. So we'll do another one, eight feet too. So, or let's just erase that. Let's start over. So I want this, I click and delete. If you mess up, you can select the wall and delete. And I'll go back to my wall tool. We'll come right to this point and we'll go enter 16. And then this one was eight. And then this one was 16. And this one, I'll just double click to end it off as well. Very nice. So now we have a nice uh, 3D model down here of what it looks like. And we have our uh, 2D view up here. So, and I'll zoom in, let's, let's zoom in one more time just so we can see this nice and in our full screen. Now let's drag in uh, a little bit of, well, let's put, let's get a door first of all. So let's come over here to doors and windows. I'll select this door and I'll left click and drag. We'll put a door just right here in the, we'll have it be uh, six inches away from the corner. So I'll come right up in. Okay, perfect, seven inches away, that's fine. So this is seven inches away from the corner. We can see what it looks like. But look, it swings in the wrong direction. So we can change that by just double clicking on it. And we go to mirror shape. Uh, and that mirrors the shape of it. We can also see this door we know. It's three feet wide, so it's 36 inches, which is perfect for a front door for us. And it tells us all the different size information about it. Our walls, if we're curious, we can double click. So I want these walls to be two by four. So it says the thickness is 0 0.3 inches. So that's okay, we're not really dimensioning the walls anyway, so no one's gonna know by looking at it how thick they are and unless we note on the plan. But they're, these are actually, according to the scale of everything, they're zero feet, three inches. Did I say six before? They're three inches. And so if we wanna change it to like a two by six, we could adjust that accordingly. But the finished wall is gonna be three inches is what it's saying. Oops, control Z. Let's grab some windows now. So maybe I'll do a nice, uh, uh, let's do a round window in the back. And if you want it to be centered, we'll just kind of move around. We, it tells us dimensions on both sides right here. So we want it to be two feet, roughly the same on both. So this is two feet nine. We want it to be uh, two feet seven and two feet eight. Let's come over two feet seven and a half, two feet seven and a half, completely centered. So we have a nice window centered on the back wall here. And then let's grab in, um, let's just grab two more uh, slider windows. Let's do a slider window. Let's have it be about, um, let's have it be three foot seven inch from the back wall. And then I want it to be another one on this side so we come to three feet seven inch. Perfect. So now I have two windows, but we see they're so tall, they almost look like sliding glass doors. So let's resize those a little bit. We can make sure we're on our selection tool. We can select one of them, hold down the shift key and select the second one since we wanna edit them both at the same time. And then we can just right click and go to modify furniture. And then here we can just change them. So we can uh, change the height of it to, uh, instead of being six feet tall, we can just make it maybe three feet tall. And actually what we would really want to do, so that looks a lot better, we'd probably really want to find an actual window like at our supply store, at Home Depot or somewhere, and we would get the dimensions of that window and then we would type them in here so that we have a real we don't want to make a custom window, at least not the, for this project, probably. But anyway, let's change that. So now we want to need to raise it up a little bit. So we'll go to elevation and we'll make it uh, three feet, four inches off the ground. And that looks a lot better. Now, everything we've uh, we've put in here is, gonna, is appearing over here in our materials list. 
So we have a door, we have a round window, a slider window, and all the dimensions of it. And when we actually print out our documents, it'll print out a separate page for all of the, uh, it's called, it calls it furniture, but it's for all the items that we've, that we've placed in our drawing. Uh, okay, so this is looking pretty good. Let's dimension a little bit here. So let's choose some good dimensions, or let's show, let's show the, the builder or the, the city or whoever what, we're, what exactly we're trying to do here. So let's grab our dimensioning tool, because just by looking at it, all they see so far is 128 square feet, because this is the, actually how the plan's gonna look like for them. So I left click here, I come over and make sure it says eight feet exactly, because I, I want them to know that this is an eight foot wall. And then I'll bring it out a little bit just to give it some better visibility. And then we'll make sure we're still on this tool and we'll come over and we'll click and we'll come over and make sure this is exactly 16 feet and then we'll dimension it out like so. And maybe when we zoom out a little bit, that, that might be a little bit hard to see. So let's come over and we can select these both at the same time like we did the windows. So we'll select and then hold down shift and select uh, both, both of them. And we'll just hit this key here that makes the, this A with a larger A and it makes those a little bit bigger. We can maybe make them bold too. Let's make them bold and let's select this and make it also bold. Perfect, so that looks nice. And then we can say, if we, we can maybe dimension this window here so we can come over. We don't need to say the size of the window because they're gonna see that in the materials breakdown, but we can come over and be like, look, from this wall, the center of this window needs to be, well, whatever it is. It's basically the center of the wall, right? an eight foot wall, so it's basically four feet. So just so they know, so we can come out and just kind of do this kind of thing here. So then they know, okay, gotcha, that's four feet. And then look, this thing's getting in our way a little bit now, now that I'm, now that I'm seeing this. So let's come over here and we'll move this. We can actually move this somewhere else, like to this part of the document maybe. Perfect, oh, then this needs to match our, we need to make it a little bit bigger, make it bold so it matches. Perfect. Uh, okay, so that's kind of a nice, simple little floor plan. I think you get the idea. We could keep going and, and do some more. Um, we need like roof details and maybe we could do foundation details, but really let's just, let's show what it would look like just getting this out right now. So let's put this up here, make sure it's in the right place and let's choose a good view. So whatever view we put this in is kind of how it, the orientation it's gonna appear. So it's kind of a nice 3D view showing the windows and the inside of this little room. And then this view, of course, is gonna be just like that. I wanna show you one thing we can do. So if we go to page setup, it gives us an option for choosing uh, a header and a footer. So a good, time, a good thing to do on the header, or either one, but let's put like the address, if we say like 555 Maple Street, um, whatever, Seattle. And then on the footer, we can say like uh, TJ Free um, Builders Inc. And so we have uh, just some information so that it makes our document look a little bit better. So we hit OK. Oh, and actually, well, let's print this out first and just so you can see what it's gonna look like. We go to File, and we'll just go Print to PDF, or you could actually print. Print to PDF just shows us um, what it's going to look like if it were printed without me actually having to print it out and get out the webcam and stuff. So this is the document we just printed. It will look like this. It'll have three pages. The first page has a breakdown of all the materials, of all the doors, windows, anything like that that it needs to know about. And then we see at the top it has the address, and at the bottom it has the name of the company or any information we want to provide. Same thing with this one. We have an address at the top, the name of the company, and then it's showing uh, everything that we've detailed about these plans. The square footage of, the, of this room, the dimensions of these walls, and the distance of the center of this window to the edge of this wall, and then it has a little 3D view of it. So this gives people a pretty good idea, especially like a builder. If, if you're wanting someone to build something for you, rather than just like drawing on a napkin or telling them, if you sent someone this, they'd be like, okay, gotcha. They might wanna know the, the height of the walls, they might want to know what you're building it on. Is it concrete? Is it like a slab? Is it just going to be built on like dirt? What are you trying to do, you know? So we can actually provide that information and we probably should. So we can come back. I'll close this. And we can come over and we'll just put information right anywhere, but we can do it. Uh, let's put it 
down here, sure. So we're going to grab our uh, this just text tool, and we're going to start typing in some text. So I'll just click right here, and we'll just call this. Um, we'll go exterior walls, or we'll just say two by four exterior walls, and we'll just have that be one thing that we type. And then we'll we'll grab another thing. We'll just type in. Um, uh, six inch concrete slab. So just any details that we want to put. And we'll do one more thing that says uh, wall height. Or, oh, I'm doing this backwards. Eight foot wall height. There we go. And we can change the size of this. We can change the text color and all that. And then we can just drag and get these all. We can kind of put these all in one little area. And then we can draw, actually come over here to this polyline, and we can just draw a box around this. Just to make it look a little bit more official. So there we go. So we've got a nice little details box down here. And you get the idea. I'm not going to style it up too much, but you can kind of stylize this and you can match the look and feel of documents in your area or of a certain type of uh, look you want to go for. Now if we go print to PDF, we we reprint it here. Just click print. We go overwrite. And now it's going to look like this. So now we have some details here and we could we can create a box up here with de more details and we have notes you know if you're familiar with construction documents you'll have all kinds of details and plans and specifications so we could we could have like a, a roof schedule down here telling all about the slope of the roof we can have a, a foundation schedule talking about uh, all the different you know rebar or whatever it needs to be known about the foundation uh, but yeah this is like a basic this is creating a basic uh, plan and some basic documents that we can then share with someone to give them a very, a very clear idea of what we want to build. Hope you found this video informative. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Leave your comments and questions below, and I will catch you in the next video.